TV in Africa. We are broadcasting from Tanzania. How beautiful is it to be in this glorious country full of nature, food, and fun? And the best part is, it's like such a country that's blessed with people who have good spirits and kindness. I love it here, and I've been having a great time getting to know dynamic Somali entrepreneurs who are, wow, just taking over this country and wowing with uh, their entrepreneurial skills. And we're going to meet a few of them in this show. And But first, our first guest will be the chef who is uh, cooking up Italian Somali flavored food in this great country. And we're going to meet him right here in Dar es Salaam. This is Integration TV live from Dar es Salaam, Tanzania. Born and in Mogadishu until I was 10, 11 years old. Then we went to Italy, to Rome, and then I went back to Somalia at 11, year, 12 years, 22 years old. Sorry, um, to with my brother to export live lobsters to Italy. So we opened a factory, everything, but uh, that was 88. But in 1990, like everybody, we all know, the war is start and uh, we lost everything. I'm the founder of this place, Mediterraneo. We call Mediterraneo because our cuisine is 70%, uh, not my cuisine, I'm talking about the cuisine of the place. Yeah. It's 70% uh, from Rome to the south of Italy and 30% everywhere the Mediterranean Sea is touching. So North Africa, Spain, Greece, 30%. About me, I cook and my cuisine is Italian and Somali. Okay, let me just rephrase. Yeah. Somali adapted by my, my way. <laughs> the design here as well. The design in the outside here, everything is my, my design. In the rooms is more my mother's design. Wow. And um, my idea was to, to only use natural materials, so wood, stones, uh, nothing. We, are, we have beautiful garden, so to mix up with that, so at least it gives the feeling of the home. So, Samantha, we're going to go to the kitchen now and check out the food that you made for us. Please. So let's go see. Yeah. Let's go. So we'll walk over here. Wow, this is amazing property. Oh, look, my dad is just here. Then. Oh, wow. Assalamu alaikum. Aver, Iwaran. Sadatta hai. Abdunur. Abdunur, show an accent. Go with Somali, but I have Somali or Kohala. Somali, I see, but. Uh, maybe you uh, are missing from Somalia a long time. Yes. yes. I have, a, I have an accent. It's changing yes. a little bit. Yeah. So, uh, what then can you say? Okay. Can the Tanzania or Somalia can you say? Somalia, I don't know if I'm going to say anything. I don't know if I'm going to say anything. I don't know if I'm going to say anything. أنا حتى نكيمي بس أوكي والله بس كعادي بي حتى نصوم اللي مقدوشة أكيد لحقيقة كثير حنا ذي حمر حنا ذي قروي ونحن ذي لاس عنود أوكي أنا بروح أنت قيس سنة تقول أنت قيس يا وكان لفت إذا بلوك وسي خارج قيس أنت قيس وحنا ذي قروي أيام تقول بالعسان أيام أصوم مري 
and Marka Saman Marka and Somali Watagam Hire Mada Bishazarai. Wataga Hata Nour Kibrodi and come on Bakani. Come on Bakani Marka. Shallow, what do I know? What then can I say? Somali had no lot, Miss Canada. Somali had no lot to have any no lot to wear. I can't have no like it as a dinner. Somali had no lot. I shall like her. Okay, so we're going to go to the kitchen. I am. We're going to go to the kitchen now, check out the food, Somali, Somali inspired food. Yes. Okay, let's go. Mambo. Ah, brava, sa sa. Come on, it's We're going to go in the kitchen. Woo! This is the sugo. Yes. Yeah. 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 Okay, so we're here back in the kitchen. Uh, yes. Where this is where you make your magic happen every day. Yes. So tell us what we're making today. So today. Uh, we make made anjera, which anjera is uh, typical from Somalia. Yeah. We normally use also for breakfast actually, with a bit of sugar and oil yes. on top. Otherwise, in tonight we're gonna use with uh, we eat with a uh, beef stew and potatoes. So let me tell you how we make the anjera. The anjera is a normal flour, let's say for bread, flour that uh, also here we call for uh, ugali, and then a bit of oil, mirra, salt. We mix all together, and then after we just nicely we put on the on the hot uh, pan, and then we make it go around like this until it gets this, the final result. And this is our angela, which is a bit different than the Ethiopian angela, because the Ethiopian angela is a bit um, sour. sour than ours, and this is our stew. I mean, the way I make the stew, the beef stew which is the beef cubes. This is the final result. Bit of tomato sauce, tamarind. First is like this, then with water, it's coming like this. Bit of potatoes, garlic, onions, salt, we call bamiya. Bit of masala, bit of chili, bit of black pepper. And this, we leave it for 40, 50 minutes all getting that together, slowly, 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 and that's the final result. Amazing. So now we go to enjoy this with Holland. Let's get there. Okay, hold on, let's try the final product. Yay! Our angera with a beef stew, bamia, potatoes, and other secrets that now you m might feel it in your palate while you eat. Yeah, of course. The only question is, can I eat it with my hands? Well, actually, <laughs> there's no question. We must eat with the hands because the whole flavor comes when you eat with the hands. Oh, wow, so true. <laughs> That's what that's spoken is. like a true Muslim. Okay, mashallah. If you prefer, but I don't think so. You want fork and knife? No. No, I'm gonna eat it with you my see? hands. I'm a true Somali. I agree with you. <laughs> All right, so let's try. Here we go. Come on. So. so now, when I was a kid, I remember that my father was telling me that there was a kind of technique. Oh, when you, you eat, it? how do you do it? <laughs> oh well, it's a bit look disgusting when I'm doing it, but it's nice. <laughs> Especially for kids, it's nice and feeling. That's the right way. Okay. The way you're doing it. <laughs> the way he was telling me is like you smash everything, oh, you smash. then you pull like this. <laughs> oh, that's a good way. But for the kids, it's fun. Okay, so I'm gonna dive in. Enjoy your food. Wow. So good. You like it? 
I taste it. Is it tamarind in there? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I taste tamarind. Mm-hmm. But Wow. He knows how to eat it, right? <laughs> Amazing. Well, smash it. I feel bad talking my mouth. But. No problem. We say when the food is good, you know, nobody's talking. So. Right? Yeah. It's so good. Alhamdulillah. Well, thank you so much for having us here. Pleasure. And mashallah, you're an amazing cook and a great businessman, I would say. <laughs> thank More you. than that. Thank so you. thank you so much for having us at your restaurant. Thank you. And sharing your gift. <laughs> Grazie. This <Yes>. is... <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank you for you to host me. You're welcome. Okay. Integration TV, Tanzania. All the flavors come together in this beautiful country. We'll be back after these messages. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and tell your friends. We look forward to showing you the beauty of Africa. You're watching Integration TV, connecting you to Tanzania. Hop